In this example, we have to prepare ourselves a time series graph which shows the number of pizzas sold each night over a three week period. One of the first things we have to do before we graph it is just to complete a row for day number. You see, we could graph each of the pizza sales against their name of the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but we wouldn't be able to do much mathematical work with that. So it's best if we attach numbers to the days of the week. So just finish that column one, two, three, as far as we can go. And now we just simply have to plot that. So it's a basic line graph. Day number one, there were 42 sales made. On day number two, 72, and so on. Complete the graph, connect together the points with straight lines. Now we're also asked to describe the pattern of the data in words and to suggest reasons why the graph might have its shape. Well, looking at this, I can see a regular sort of pattern occurring here. There are good sales on Friday and Saturday nights, and so on Tuesday nights. And that pattern seems to repeat itself again and again over the three-week period. So I'm saying that this is seasonal data. You would also, if you look at the graph very carefully, I think it seems to have a bit of a downwards trend. Look particularly at the peaks of the graph. They're stronger and higher at the start, and not quite as high at the finish, so I'm thinking that it's seasonal data with a downwards trend. As far as reasons for the graph, well, I think Friday and Saturday nights, people like to eat takeaways on Friday and Saturday nights, or they're out and about, and that may help to explain why there are strong sales on Friday and Saturday. The peak on Tuesday is curious, but perhaps that might be due to some sort of special deal, a cheaper Tuesday, or something like that that the pizza franchise might be offering. 